Well, hello there, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about Smart List in Amazing Marvin. Stick around and check it out. So basically, in one of the most powerful features of Amazing Marvin is a Smart List. And it's, it's the kind of list that you don't find in uh, many other um, planning applications, right? And I want to show you why these are so important. So, and I've mentioned these in some other videos that I've done on Amazing Marvin. So basically, when you have, um, you have a master list here, of, and you, you start out usually, when you get into Marvin, you have a master list, and you put in categories, and you put in subcategories, and you put in projects, and they fill it up. So you see I have a lot of items in each one of these categories, right? This is kind of your master list. This is where all your... Uh, tasks and projects are going to be, right? But what's the beauty about um, Amazing Marvin is you can break down and do what's called Smart List. And I have a link here to Smart List um, right here. And um, Smart List, you see I have quite a few of these that I've created over the, over the years. And I don't use them all, but there's, there are quite a few that I do use. And I'll show you how I use them in a minute. But... Um, the important thing about creating smart list is that you can filter down and you can filter out tasks and projects rather than having to go to your master list. Also, if you go into your planner, so you, you maybe had you have seen some video that I created about using the planner, the, the weekly schedule. Well, these are all right here, a smart list in. Basically, you have this master list that has all the stuff in here, a lot of things. I don't want to be bothered with that. But if I have a list that says, I want to see the things that I have scheduled um, or planned for this month, right? This will be, you know, it's based upon, this list is based upon me having to, you know, choose a project or a plan that is scheduled or planned for the month, right? Um, same thing for this week. Um, is, is the task or project is scheduled for this week. So now, again, it's like almost all my videos here. This is a demo version of my amazing Marvin. So you're not seeing everything that I have. Um, same thing, another smart list is the, um, these, are, these are most important projects and they're are, they are labeled that, um, they are assigned that, and, and they create a list. So basically, I can get to these lists that I use on a regular basis, and uh, it makes it really easy to go here and use that list to assign to a, uh, a particular day in the week or to plan for a particular month or plan for a particular week. So there's a difference in Marvin between planning and scheduling. Planning is this is what I want to do, but scheduling, I'm scheduling to do it. So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to smart list here. And again, you can see I have a whole bunch of them here. And uh, let's go into what they look like. So basically, you have these kind of filters. So again, it's filtering out different things, right? So you have these different filters and you can filter for uh, tasks and projects, right? Or you can just filter just for a task. Um, you can filter for single tasks, not in a project, single tasks and project, uh, single tasks and projects. Um, so let's see if we do this right here. So you notice that when I single for just tasks right here, that changes right here. It tells you what it will be. So that what that's doing is looking at all the tasks in my uh, master list and it's filtering that way. All right. So another one is if something is recurring or non-recurring, right? Um, it's a recurring task, it's a recurring project, or any recurring. These are just rules that you're using to set it up. Uh, here we got a um, category. So does it, you know, is the category specified? Is it in a particular category? Um, is it, you know, not in a particular category? Use that as a rule, right? Same thing here. Another one is titles, has a specified title, contains the title, or it doesn't. Maybe you want to find if there's ones with, with no titles in there. So I don't have that. All my tasks and projects have titles, but if it did, it will filter that um, out. Okay. 
Um, let's see here. Let's go get rid of that one. Um, the title has a time, a specified time, right? So if I do this, let's see here. Um, the notice right here, nothing's showing right now because I have category in inbox, but there's nothing in the inbox, so that can't be a part of the rule. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And now you just notice that when I say title has a time, a specific time, then it gets put here. Now that is, I don't, I don't attach um, specific times to to my task at all pretty much just for that one and i don't even know why i did that one but anyway oh i do know why i put the time on there but anyway um so specific time so we can get rid of that one and uh go here and then let's see and then also for a label does it have a specified label no labels with the label that kind of thing and so if you use a lot of labels you can filter tasks best based upon label i think i have a, a label one is called cooking for example so i can all the tasks that um that i label as that could get put in could be filtered in and uh, time estimate, which is a really important thing to do inside of, um, you know, Marvin. So say you want to filter for all uh, tasks that are 20 minutes or shorter than 20 minutes, right? And you go here and you see these right here have five minutes, so 15 minutes. So if I just wanted to see what are my shortest uh, task I could do that if that's important right so less than 20 minutes and uh, you can also do uh, that it was created on a specific day um, you know created more than you know 10 days ago or something like that you can, you can put that in um, if you have a task that has a due date or an end date um, and look up, you know, there's a little bit of difference between the due date and the end date in Marvin. So you can look that up in the um, Marvin docs, right? Um, if it has a start date, if it has a certain priority. So I use that a lot sometimes as well. So if it has, you know, this top priority, you see right here, it goes to top priority. And I can filter those. And I do that a lot to kind of help me decide what I uh, want to, um, you know, what's, what's important, what should be, what should be important in a particular week. Um, another thing, the feature that um, Marvin has is called, you know, does it, does it have a frog, a frog tech thing to it? I'm not, and I have one that does that. And this is my, you know, finishing my book, and which is something that I always kind of put back on the back burner. So when you do a frog, this area is a strategy that if you turn on the, the frog strategy, um, Amazing Marvel will subtly remind you like every day to pay attention to that task or project that you've assigned a frog to. So, um, you know, and I think the frog is, is associated with some type of planning strategy. I forget the name of it. I think eat the frog. I think that's what it is. And so that's one of the things that's, that's one of the things that you can do in Amazing Marvin. So if it has a frog, you can do that and set up a filter for that if you have a lot of them or, or more than one or what have you. And then um, is it in a project? You know, does a, uh, a specified filter for that? Filter for different types of projects like your MIPS here. Uh, let's see if I have that. So, and I forget what Let's see, it's in a project. I forget what that was about. Um, I thought that, I know that, um, well, I think there are MIPS and then it's, it's been specified as high, medium, or low or something like that. I forget what this is right here. I forget right now. But I'll And then if you have some projects with ne next steps in them, you can do that. Um, a previously scheduled one, previously scheduled uh, uh, filter here, never scheduled. Um, so it's, again, a scheduled is one that you 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 know you're scheduling in a particular day or or a particular time. Let's see what that says. I never I haven't used this right here. It's never scheduled. So yeah, so like I guess either tasks are never scheduled here. Let's get get rid of this one here. Uh, let me see. Oops. Yeah. So let's get rid of that one to see what, what results. Are. Okay. So these are these are ones that have never been scheduled at any time. So yeah, if you want to do that, it's quite a few of them there. You see. So it tells you 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 haven't scheduled this for a particular day 
um, to, to work on it, right? That's, that's what that's about. Uh, Procrastination Council, which is another strategy in Amazing Marvin that, you know, you can turn this strategy on and, and, and if you keep putting the task off, if you schedule it, but then you don't do it and you move it to the next day, next week or whatever, it will kind of count how many times you have um, procrastinated in doing that. And so you can filter for like some of your most like, you know, um, filter tasks. Let me see if I have any in there. Uh, a couple of them. Let me see. I may have a lot. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I guess I keep forgetting to turn these off here. The procrastination. Let's see. I'm not sure that's not working right, but anyway, you, you should I should be seeing some procrastination marks in this, but uh, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it yet. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm having, if I got two or more rules going here yet, but anyway, um, that's what it's for though, and it's, it, it is really a good thing because it can remind you of stuff that you keep you keep forgetting or, or just kind of moving to the back burner, if you will. And by the way, this is another strategy called back burner, which Basically, that is for is like you want to, you know, you have some tasks or projects you kind of wanted to do, but you're just not going to get a get around to them. Maybe you want to, you know, you're just not going to even do it until like next year or later in the year, or or you just want to kind of like you don't want to delete it, but you know you just you know you're not going to do anything with it right now. So you can put it in the back burner, and then all of a, you can check um, your back burner to see which what you got there, or you can create a a filter. A smart list of all your back burner projects and tasks. All right, and another one here is scheduled. Um, if the task is scheduled or specified, uh, pin task. You can assign a pin to task, and um, and and it would like you see right here. So, in, in if you sign a pin to it, I have that as as, as a task. Um, is a smart list that I kind of use on a regular basis, um, particularly for my pinned meals. Uh, so when I want to like plan which meals I want to cook in the evening or what have you, I can do that. Okay, and then another one is uh, specific goals, specified goals, um, you know, in a goal, not in a goal, that kind of thing. And that's another strategy that Amazing Marvin has. And then you have this advanced list, which is really advanced. And so I'm not going to go into detail about it, but there is some some kind of um, coding that you can do to to filter out things that are not in the filters list, right? And um, the in the Facebook um, group for Amazing Marvin, some people can also help you to develop um, these uh, kind of advanced uh, filters right here. So, you know, don't let it scare you too much. Uh, they do have a lot of examples in the, the doc here. So that's basically how I utilize uh, SmartList, and it is a powerful, powerful um, feature in Amazing Marvin. And again, I don't think you find it and hardly any other task manager, and um, it is it is the one thing that I think that is the mix of mix of mix of amazing Marvin so different and unique, and it helps to quickly um, you know filter out and access particular tasks and group tasks. So I hope this was uh, uh, useful for you. Let me know if you give me a thumbs up if you like it, and if you have any questions about it, uh, put it in the just in the comments below. And this is the first time you've uh, been to my channel. Definitely please follow because that really tells me that you're interested in what I'm producing. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you around. Thank you.